Whoops. Here it is. The Cleveland Browns team against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's right. The, Cle the Cleveland Browns team against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go. Welcome to Thursday Night Football presented Go Cleveland Browns. On Fox and a great matchup for you as the Cleveland Browns host the Pittsburgh Steelers on a cold night in November. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth everybody. I'm Joe Buck along with the Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. And uh, a check of the standings right behind me right here in the middle. We'll show you that the Baltimore Ravens are on top in the division within right there and at the moment tied for a wild card spot are the Pittsburgh Steelers at five and four. They've won four straight. People thought, Troy, the season was over and done with when Ben Roethlisberger went down in week two. But with this winning streak, they're right there, and they're playing pretty well right now with Mason Rudolph, the quarterback. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of help, of course, with the way that the defense has played. But he's a young quarterback. I think he's coming off his best game probably on Sunday. He's settling in, starting to do some of the things that you, know, you would expect from a quarterback. But I think the key for him is their ability to run the football and they get James Conner back and that's going to be important tonight because they've had a hard time establishing that and he hasn't gotten a lot of help on the outside with a lot of young receivers as well. Well the Cleveland Browns are coming in off a win of their own. They beat a good defense in the Buffalo Bills this last Sunday. They're taking on that good Pittsburgh Steelers defense. The one game is there. They've now added Kareem Hunt at running back to go along with Nick Chubb, but uh, I want to see more through the air with Baker Mayfield finding these two really talented wide receivers. Yeah, I do too. I think when you look at, at the Browns and you try to figure out, okay, what do they want to do? I think they really do want to run the football. We saw that on Sunday. I think that two-back stuff with Kareem Hunt, the addition of him, got them going in that direction. I expect to see a little bit more of that. But these wide receivers and their abilities, they're a good matchup, no matter who it is they're facing, and they've got to be able to make some bigger plays down the field. Those have been hard to come by for this offense. Let's go down to the field, check on the Cleveland side first with Aaron Andrews. Joe, Baker Mayfield called that win on Sunday against Buffalo a relief. He said for us to be able to get a win when we needed it the most, hopefully that gets us where we need to be. Where do they need to be? They want to make a run in the second half of this season. Baker also telling me biggest keys for this team tonight is matching Pittsburgh's intensity. He said it's always a physical matchup. Keep in mind their head coach, Freddie Kitchens, emphasizing to the team on such a short week, please control your emotions. We know there will be a ton of energy and passion in this one. For more on the Steelers, let's send it over to Christina Pink. Well, thank you, Aaron. Turns out the trade for Minka Fitzpatrick was uh, just what the doctor ordered for the Steelers defense. He has a nose for the football, and it shows. Since the trade, he leads the league in interceptions, and the defense has led the league in takeaways since the deal. So who is this Minka Fitzmagic? Well, his teammates joke that the guy eats, breathes, and sleeps football. He lives in the film room, but Minka telling me it's just simple. He's playing free, he's playing with his instincts, and that's what allows him to make plays. Joe? Yeah, that trade uh, caught everybody off guard that they were dangling Minka Fitzpatrick out there, and it was the Steelers who had lost that week, week two. Not only the ball game, but they lost Ben Roethlisberger. Why did they make that deal? Now it looks like a steal on a 34-degree night. A bit windy here in Cleveland. Cleveland won the toss. They the first. Steelers get the ball to start the night in Spanish language broadcast available on Fox Deportes. see young Mason Rudolph, second year pro out of Oklahoma State, and the Steelers offense to start the night. Cyber will kick it away. Come on, Cleveland Browns. So he brings James from the five. Get him. Mason Rudolph, saw you down there chatting with Mason Rudolph before this game. This 
starting to figure out what he can do, what he can't do, and he's starting to take more of a leadership role now, as you see, his overall record of 4-2 and two as a starter with the Steelers. Yeah, I think he's getting more and more comfortable, in that, and that's what you'd expect. And, you know, his biggest thing was that he just has not wanted to give up on plays, and he's had to learn about pass rushes and then the fact that sometimes you just got to let the play another down. After Get him! Steelers in a good play off the edge by Greedy Williams. A loss of one, and the rookie, Greedy Williams, made a strong tackle. They sure did. This was the knock on him coming out of LSU. Was that oh. he couldn't tackle, and yet he comes here to Cleveland, and he's really done a nice job as a rookie. In fact, both these corners, Denzel Ward, last year's number one pick, he'll stick his head in there and make a play, too. Second and eleven. Get him. Ran into a wall and Morgan Burnett, former Steeler, was there, but he wasn't alone. A gain of just one. Third down and ten coming up. Let's look at this offense and the numbers. 28th overall. Just not a good year. Steelers have finished no worse than seven in yards per game over the past five years. But without Trent Roethlisberger. It's a different product. Schmitz Schuster. To the top of the screen. Get him. Spins out. And then just throws it away. Pressure by Morgan. Yes. And Sheldon Richardson. And a terrific start for this Cleveland Browns defense. A really good start. Man to man coverage by the Cleveland Browns. Morgan Burnett comes off the edge. They had Juju Schuster, who went in motion, and Reedy Williams, the rookie, was locked up on him one on one. They had a chance, and, you know, but with the pressure and the unblocked guy and Morgan Burnett, Rudolph did all he could to just get rid of him. Jordan Berry will punt it with Dontrell Hilliard. Waiting for Cleveland. Should end up with decent field position. Barry hits a good one. Right at 25, Hilliard. To the 35. 54-yard punt on this cold night, 10-yard return. And the player is down. Somebody down. Pennsylvania, who's down, Ola made the stop, and now he can't get up. So they'll check on him. We'll take a break. And when we come back, Baker Bayfield and the Browns offense will be out there. No score early. I did some early shopping this year. 